telegrams. Huh? Huh? But this was written, this was written 40 years ago, brother. Masrifun, <laughs> Masarifu. Huh? See, Masarifu, what kind of a wazan is this? Mafailu. Always remember Masajidu. Huh? For simplicity. Maktabul Baridi. Maktabul Baridi. Mudaf, Mudafili. Okay, post office. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now I want to start Mudariya, brother. Remember, we are going to take the base form. Huh? The, what is the base form? In Madi, it starts with Huwa. Huh? In Madi, it starts with a Huwa. That is our base form. Huh? And now we will start in Mudariya, the base form. Okay? But let us conjugate couple of them, inshallah. We start with Nasara today. What are we starting with? Nasara. Nasara. Ready? He helped. Nasara. Nasara. Nasaru. Nasarat. Nasarata. Nasarna. Nasarta. Nasartuma. Nasartum. Nasarti. Nasartuma. Nasartunna. Nasartu. Nasarna. Got the idea? Okay. Hua Nasara. Hiya Nasarat. Ana Nasartu. Anta Nasarta. Anti Nasarti. Nahnu Nasarna. Hum Nasaru. Hunna Nasarna. Antum Nasartum. Antunna Nasartunna. Mashallah. Now we again do Zahaba also today, because Zahaba is what will come in the lesson in the beginning. Zahaba. Ready? Zahaba, Zahaba, Zahabu, Zahabat, Zahabata, Zahabna, Zahabta, Zahabtuma, Zahabtum, Zahabti, Zahabtuma, Zahabtumna, Zahabtu, Zahabna. MashaAllah. Ana, Zahabtu. Anta, Anti, Nahnu, Huwa, Zahaba, Huwa, Zahaba, Hiya, Zahaba, Hum, Hunna, Nahnu, Antum, MashaAllah. See, can you feel you are comfortable now? Then one when we started, so practice will make us perfect, inshallah. Okay? Now remember brothers and sisters, Nasara, the base form, he helped. Are you with me? Always Huwa. And now because we are strong in our pronouns and we can say in sequence, we will do everything in sequence. Nasara. What is Na? Fa Kalima. What is Sa? So? Ain Kalima and Ra Lam Kalima or first radical, second radical, third radical. Now I am separating them. When you make it into Mudarya. This is the base form, brother. Okay. Na, sa, ra. He helped. Yan, su, ru. He helps. It will also have the future. He will help. The way the sentence will come, you will be able to make the meaning. Okay, brother, where is the fa kalima? That will remain there. Where is the Ain Kalima? It will remain there. What is the, where is the Lam Kalima? See, that is why we have to understand Fa Kalima, Ain Kalima, Lam Kalima. Then when we get into longer verbs, you know, it will become very, very easy for us. Very easy for us. Okay, brother, I can see my first radical, I can see my second radical, I can see my third radical. What is this ya? 
This is something new. What is this yuna? Ya, we call it Mudaf Mudafri. What is it? Alamatu Mudari. What is the meaning of Alamatu? Sign. Huh? What is the meaning of Alamatu? Sign of Mudari. As soon as I say Yan Suru, that Ya tells me that it is now Fel Mudariya. But the Fa Kalima, Ain Kalima, Lam Kalima are there. Are you with me? They are there. Okay. Now what happened here, brothers and sisters? Okay. That Fa Kalima got a Sukun. And it will always have Sukun. What did I say? Always will have Sukun. You know, Fa Kalima will have Sukun. And then, Lam Kalima got a Dhamma. It is always will have Dhamma. Okay? Then what about En Kalima? Remember, in the base form, remember we said, the Fa Kalima will always have Fata, and the Lam Kalima will always have Fata, but the Ain Kalima can be like Zahaba, and then Samia, Shariba, or it can be Karuma, Bauda, Jamula, means Ain Kalima can change with our three vowel signs. So the action in the verb is on Ain Kalima. The rest are all same. Same way, brothers and sisters, in Mudarya, Fa Kalima will always be Sukun, Lam Kalima will always be Dhamma. But the change will take place on Ain Kalima. Are you with me? Where will the change take place? Ain Kalima. Do you see here? This is Sa and this is Su. Now I give you one example. Huh? Okay, more example. Daraba. Do you see Daraba? Okay. What is this? Alamatu Mudarya. And then again I write my what will come on Da Fa Kalima? Sukun. What will come on Lam Kalima? Dhamma. Are you with me? What will come on Ain Kalima? Those who <laughs> you remember my my you know little joke that those who speak Arabic it is in their blood. They know. You know, from childhood they have been used to it. You know. When a child takes the first sip of uh, mother's milk, all of the knowledge of Arabic is transferred. So they know it, but for us, we will have to figure out. And as you read it, you will retain it in your mind. And if you are not sure, you will look into the dictionary. There is no other way. Do not sit down and memorize. Read it and retain in your mind. Okay, but Daraba. Yadribu. See, Ain Kalima here gets us Kasra. Are you with me? Daraba Yadribu. Okay? So here the Ain Kalima got a Dhamma. Are you with me? The Ain Kalima got a Dhamma. And here Ain Kalima got a Kasra. Huh? Okay? One more example. Fataha. He opened. Fataha. Okay. Again, I bring my Alamatu Mudarya and then what should be on? 
first radical sukun what should be on the third radical dhamma what about the ain kalima so are you with me <coughs> fataha ain kalima got a has a fata when it went into mudarya it remained in fata there is a nice little poetry you know okay and uh, i will give you the handout and slowly slowly will become strong brothers and sisters so from this example <clears throat> from this example you see that the ain kalima when it goes into mudarya can have dhamma can have a kasra can have a fata and there are still more there are totally six different way the mudarya is formed and we are going to learn out of those six four are very common two are less frequent okay brothers and sisters so every three letter verb i'm only talking about three letter verb huh? remember 1 2 and 3 three letter verb is the most difficult four letter five letter six letters these are all halwa puris and bakhlawas they are very easy very very easy the three letter verbs is something that we have to pay more attention to it So brothers and sisters <clears throat> every three letter verb will go into six different bab it can go and we have to remember that now if you have that page number 5 in your handout brothers and sisters book 1 handout page number 5 okay you will see there are certain groups the first group is please remember one thing i will be repeating this quite a bit so as much as you can understand today you understand uh, otherwise every day we will go through it and you will be able to inshallah figure out huh? are you with me page number 5 page number 6 sorry about that page number 6 yeah see can you see the first column what what is on top ha huh? bab nasara what is it bab nasara are you with me no we will inshallah memorize this bab nasara so what is so important about bab nasara ha huh? the only important thing about bab nasara is that the verb in the madi if the ain kalima has a fata in the mudarya ain kalima gets a dhamma this is the pattern we will remember okay if i so remember nasara yan suru are you with me you have to remember this inshallah practice it huh? nasara yan suru okay every day you will take make two sheets brothers and sisters let us do for a few days nasara then you come to the other bab even if you want to do other bab it's okay uh, but we have to understand that okay brother so the first column is bab nasara what happens in bab nasara sister faiza that the ain kalima which has got a fata ain kalima gets a dhamma okay that's so this pattern uh, the scholars have said it is bab nasara in english you can say like this brothers and sisters what is it a u a stands for fata and u stands for dhamma when you say a u means in the madi ain kalima had a fata 
when it went into Mudarya, the Ain Kalima changed into Dhamma. That is a you. Huh? It's easy. Again, I warn you. Uh, do not feel uh, depressed if you do not understand today. We are going to repeat it and you will master it, brother. Everybody masters it. Okay? Bhav Nasara. Then we come to the second column. What, you, what is the second column? Bab Daraba. So what is the specialty of Bab Daraba? That the Ain Kalima has a Fatah, but in the Mudarya, it got a Kasra. So anything that fits into this will be called that it is in Bab Daraba. Are you with me? Okay. What is the third column? Bab Fatah. Anything which has a Ain Kalima Fatah and remains Fatah, okay, is called A.A. Bab Fatah. For if I, I Bab Fatah, okay, here this will be A into I, and here will be A. A. Got the idea? There's a nice little poetry, and uh, I will bring the page, and then I have made a little song out of it, and you will also join me in the song. It says, <clears throat> Fataho Dammin. What did I say? Fataho Dammin. What is the meaning of Fataho Dammin? There's on Ain Kalima, there is a Fata. And it changed into Mudarya, into Dhamma. Then it says, Fataho Kasarin. Are you with me? So when, when Ain Kalima has a Fata, it's changed into Kasara. And then it says, Fatahatani. Two Fatas. Madi, Ain Kalima Fata. Mudarya, Ain Kalima Fata. Are you with me? So inshallah. We will try to remember it. Huh? Today is the first day. Don't worry. Every day we'll practice a little bit. So it goes something like this, you know. Fatho dammin nasarayan suru Fatho kasarin darabayadribu Fatahatani Fatahatani, Fataha Yaftahu. Then it goes on. But today only this much. Okay? Did it make sense to you after I explained you? If I say to you, Fataho Dammin Nasarayan Suru, Fataho Kasarin Darabayadribu, Fatahatani, Fatahatani means there is a Fatah on Ain Kalima in Madi and Fatah on Ain Kalima in Mudarya. Fatah Yaftahu. Okay? But today we will only do Bab Nasara. I explained to you because on your own if you try, you will be able to understand and do it. Keep that page very handy. Okay? Inshallah. Brothers and sisters, now we start Nasara Yansuru. Has everybody got the pages? Have you done Nasara Yansuru? Huh? Uh, you have Kataba Yaktubu? Okay, let us do Kataba Yaktubu because it is same. Okay? If I tell you Kataba, if I say Kataba is Bab Nasara, what is it? Kataba is Bab Nasara. So what does it mean? Nasara Yansuru. Kataba Yaktubu. It will follow the same pattern. So you will go by the Bab now. Huh? Okay, if I say Dakhala is Bab Nasara. If I say Dakhala is Bab Nasara. So what will happen? Yad Hulu. Got the idea? This is how it will. If I say to you that Katala, which is not a nice verb, but for the sake of practice, if we, I say katala 
is your bab nasara. So what will happen? Katala yaktulu. Huh? Yaktulu. Okay? So because you have a sheet of kataba, we will do kataba. Brothers and sisters. Yaktubu. Are you with me? What is ya? Alamatu mudariya. What is ya? Alamatu mudariya. Huh? And then, uh, yak tubu. Fa kalima gata sukun, ain kalima gata dhamma, and lam kalima gata dhamma. Wherever there is a fail, there is a file. Where is the file? There is the file. Has to be mustatir. Are you with me? Has to be mustatir. Mashallah. Now we come to Huma. Okay, brother. I'm leaving this because we know it. I'm writing here. Yak tu bani. Are you with me, brother? Yak tu bani. Yak tu bani. Tu. Huh? Yak tubu, he writes. Yaktubani, two of them are writing. Brothers and sisters, where is the file? Brothers, where is the file? If you say Alif, you are 100% right. If you say Alif and Noon, you are partially right and you are partially incorrect. The file is only Alif. What is this Noon doing here? How do you, it, is, it is doing something nice, but we will leave it aside for the time being. Later on, I will, I will uh, explain you. Okay? What is this noon? Uh, <clears throat> because we are doing in stages, you know? you know? This is the problem, Sister Mainas, that in Urdu grammar, everything is given to you, you know, right away. And they don't understand what's going on, honestly. But in, with us, we'll do everything bit by bit, stage by stage. So, Huma Yaktu Bani. So, where is the file? Aleph. Okay, Aleph. Noon is something else. Okay, file. Then, whom, brothers and sisters? Okay, whom will be? Yaktu Buna. Now you will be able to figure out, you will become smart. Where is the file? Wow only, <laughs> not the noon. Eh? File is wow only. Okay? File is wow only. Eh? Wow only, mashallah. And then we come to here. I write here. Tak tubu. She writes. Brothers, okay, I asked brothers before, now I asked sisters, where is the file? Yaktubu, taktubu, don't say ta, no, that is the alamatu mudharya. What is this ta? Huh? What is this ta, brothers and sisters? Alamatu mudharya. This is also alamatu mudharya, this is also alamatu mudharya. Are you with me? So where is the file then? Mostatir. Where is the file? Most